Welcome to the next video on Sistema Kadoshnikova, presented to you by Transition CRT. Today we'll be discussing a, another principle of ground acrobatics, which will be the Russian bicycle. The Russian bicycle is used to reposition or move while lying on the ground, but also to save energy and strength as we will initiate most of our movement by twisting the hips and extending our legs to intensify it. This alternation of using the legs might be considered to be similar to ride a bike. That's why we call it a Russian bicycle. Repositioning on the ground might be necessary, for instance, to roll away when being endangered during a combat situation from somebody that is trying to kick you or punch you or throw anything at you while on the ground. But there are also other applications, like for people working in construction as they are working in small and compartmented spaces where the amount for movement is limited. You can also adapt the Russian bicycle, for instance, if you want to move underneath your vehicle, for instance, while checking your exhaust. Like earlier, each and every step that I will be conducting will be explained to me in a certain sequence. I will start from a lay down position on the ground. There are a couple of important, uh, important elements I would like to address. When, I, when you're lying on the ground, first of all, you need to make sure that your spine and your neck are not in contact with the ground. Those are the hard elements of your body. Those are the elements I would like to save and keep intact. For instance, when rolling or moving along any objects. So to be able to do it, make sure not only to lift your head, but also to hollow your back, which will allow you to lay down on your shoulder blades and on your hips or on your butt actually only. The next thing I will do is, as I said before, the rotation is being initiated from the hip. So I am not using any muscular power to initiate rotation, I am using the rotation and the twist of my hips to enable my legs to do the actual job. So as I am lying on my shoulder blades and my butt, I will lift my hips gently and for instance rotate them to the right. As doing so, you can already see I'm already starting to turn, in this case, laying down on my right shoulder blade and uh, the right part of my hip. Now I will start to move my right leg underneath my left, which is one of the initiations of the movement. You actually see my body already starting to rotate automatically following the hip rotation. To intensify this motion, I will now extract my right leg and extract the left one as well, which will result in a full rotation towards the chest. And lying on my belly now, a couple of things are important as well. Make sure to lift your head and your chest a little bit to be able to have your shoulders and arms to be available, either for combat or to remove any obstacles or even to work underneath your car on your exhaust or any brakes or whatever. The continuation of the movement is actually similar. From the chest, if I want to proceed either to left or right, I will now initiate the rotation from the hip again. So I'm lifting it gently, twisting, moving in this case my left leg, which is the bottom leg, to the left, stretching it and then stretching out my right leg again, putting me on my back again. 
If I continue this movement now, I will be able to rotate freely either, in this case, to my left, your right, or back again. To your left and my right, in this case. Well, that will be all for the Russian bicycle and moving to the sides on the ground. I hope you will find this useful and able, you'll be able to adopt it in your daily life. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like us and subscribe to our channel. See you next time.